So let's say you created an NFT collection and you want to create a custom mint page or a web page to display it and allow users to mint through the page without having to own a domain and hosting. So let's see how you can use highlight to do it for free. In the last video, we created the NFT collection rainbow using the highlight tools and this time we'll see the pages option from highlight. So let's go to our dashboard and go in the pages section. Let's click on create a page. The way the pages work is you can either have it logged or unlocked. An unlocked page means anyone can see a content on your page and the locked means that people will need to connect wallet and depending on certain conditions you set using the gate they can access the page or the contents of the page. So let's see how you can use both of these in combination to create a locked page first and then we'll create an unlocked page so everyone can visit and mint it using that page. So let's go to the locked page first and let's add page name and details. So let's say I'm going to use it rainbow assets and I'll add a gate. So last time we didn't cover gates. So let's create a new gate this time. So enter a gate name. This is only for your reference. So I'll say rainbow holders. So here you can set conditions for that. So I will say holds any token from a collection. So I'll click this and I'll add this collection add condition. And so the set condition is someone must meet any of these conditions to pass this gate. So that means anyone that holds one token from this collection can see this page. You can also add other conditions like is an allow list on a wallet addresses. So you can add a list of wallets and if the wallet is on the list they can access the page then you can add specific tokens from a collection hold a specific token with specific attri attribute so such that i want only the person holding the yellow nft from this one allowed to be seen allowed in this gate so you can do that too or you can also allow it using a verified email address but for this video we'll keep it to just this holder access click on save gate now the gate is for ro rainbow holders so this page is locked to unlock it you must meet any of the following requirements this will be shown when someone visits the page so if they connect wallet and if they hold any token from this contract or this collection they'll be allowed to view the page so you can add anything like here so the best use of locked pages in my opinion is to provide unlockable content so for example i have these 3d figurines in my collection and they have a turnaround so let's say i want to provide the holders with the ability to download these 3d files and play around with it or see it or do anything with it so i'll create a log page like this just for holders and i can add content in here so download the assets from below and when the page is unlocked it will look something like this so here you can add text headings and links images and anything and you can create the page so i'll not create this locked page fully but i'll show everything in the unlocked page so for example you can upload your folders to a google drive and add the link from here and it will be shown here so let's now see how to create a full page but in the unlocked page or without any gate so to create a mint page that is unlocked let's say let's go to create a page again and this time let's name it rainbow mint and we'll not add any gate to it so let's add content to our page so you can add headings edit them and add lists emojis links images audio video embed videos and html to embed custom code so Let's say I want to create a mint page. So I'll just add a heading, let's say a medium heading and paste it here, <coughs> press enter and I'll add some simple text. So I'll add a video here and you can directly see the live page on the right side. Let's add another image. Let's add some more headings and a more one more paragraph and now for the most interesting part let's add the code so that 
people can mint directly from this page so go to your nft collection on highlight in this and click on embed mint page so you can see there are two options mint card and mint page like i showed last time so we'll be using this mint card and copy embed code now let's get back to our collection uh, our page and i'll add html here so click on so click on this html and you can paste that code here which we just copied and click on add so you'll see that the mint page is appearing here and people can directly select the token and mint from here just like on the official mint page so let's say we're done with the page and we want to publish it so click on publish so this mint page is just created right now so click on view page so here we have it we have a heading the actual minting widget people can directly mint from here and then we have the video as we added and then our text and all the images so it's working perfectly so let's go back to our pages and you can share this link and here you can see i'm in an incognito window and i've opened the mint page here this page here and you can share this link and people can directly mint from here and it all works perfectly now in my opinion the best use of locked and unlocked pages is to create an unlocked page which is visible by everyone such as this one and where they can mint the tokens and see all about your collection and another page which is a locked one which people can access only after buying the nft and connecting their wallet so you can provide collectibles there or unlocked material such as high resolution images of your mint or such as in my case i want to add 3d models so i can upload the blender files there and people can download it so you'll just upload it normally to a google drive and add the link as i showed before and that will make it your custom unlockable page so you can share both the pages on the internet and only people with the nft purchased will be able to see the locked page whereas the unlocked page can be visible to everyone so that was it for this short video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one